how significant of a threat does the variant pose to public health in the UK? So it's probably the most significant threat we've had since the start of the pandemic. Um, and I'm sure, for example, that the numbers that we see on data over the next few days will be quite staggering compared to uh, the rate of growth that we've seen in cases for previous variants. The real potential risk here, and I would underline that because we are still learning a lot about the variant, is in relation to its uh, severity, clinical severity, and therefore whether those cases turn into uh, severe disease, hospitalizations and deaths. And we are still at too early a stage for that. In fact, the world probably is still at too early a stage to be clear. The difficulty is that the, uh, the growth of this virus so it has a doubling time, doubling days at the moment, which is shortening, i.e. it's doubling faster, growing faster, and in most regions in the UK is now under two days. Uh, when it started, we were estimating about four or five. So if you think of uh, that growth rate right across the UK, and we're starting to see it and feel it now in London particularly, uh, but yesterday uh, particularly around Manchester, um, and we're very sure there are levels growing across uh, most communities in the UK now, although there is quite a lot of regional variation still.